Should I, should I start the presentation or you, you start? Uh, yeah, no, I will, I will start a presentation uh, okay. as you can see me, as you can see you here behind. So, well, good morning, uh, everybody who are in, in Colombia. And uh, for Lida, it's pretty much good afternoon, isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> So, so, so what's the time in uh, in uh, oh, in so Dublin? 2 p.m. 10 okay. past, yeah. So how many hours different? You're at 2 o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's five hours difference between uh, Dublin, between Ireland and Colombia. Okay. Uh, it's not that much. Um, so today we've got Lida here with us, who is uh, working at the international office at To Dublin. Uh, where we're a good university, it's one of the biggest in um, one of the biggest universities in Ireland, actually, and they got very very good programs uh, in technology, uh, among other ones, and they got very very good contacts with the local industry. And at the at the name the, the name of the webinar is the name of the webinar is what Sil uh, Ireland Sil uh, Ireland is Silicon Valley in Europe. And that is something we're going to have a look at uh, as well today. And Lida, well, I would like to tell you, well, what is it like? Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we had uh, St. Patrick's Day on 17th of March every uh -huh. year. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's a national day uh, for Ireland. It, is, it, used, it used to be really big celebration on that day. Um, thousand, thousand people from overseas. To, to come to Dublin to see the parade. But for the last two years, we um, the parade been canceled. Mm -hmm. um, but for, for Irish people, they are really proud. Um, so Patrick is, 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 is the saint for Irish. He bring the, the Catholic to Ireland. Uh, so there's lots of legends and stories about him. And the celebration is huge, especially in America as well. Um, and normally for that day, Many countries um, turn on the green light uh, for the sim symbolic uh, buildings for, for Ireland. So, for example, uh, Eiffel Tower in Paris, uh, Great Wall in Beijing, they all change to green for for um, for Ireland. So, so do you know the story behind St. Patrick's Day, Lida? Yeah. So that's the day he was uh, he he was dead, I think. Um, People just the, the way to remember him and then became to a nation, national day um, to celebrate for, for Irish people to, to, to remem remembering him. Okay, because I think, I'm not, if I'm not wrong, I think he was not Irish, was he? he I think he arrived to Ireland and, uh, yeah? Yes, yeah, he's not Irish. Um, okay. he, he arrived to Ireland and then he brought the Catholic to, to Irish people. Mm -hmm. um, and then he, he built a small um, uh, the, the, the building on the mountains and okay. um, many people still climb the, the, the mountains to see to see the, 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 the building. Um, it, it's he just just a big saint in Ireland. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have a lot of buildings that turn green at St. Patrick's Day and uh, yeah, it's sad that you can't celebrate it as much as you normally do, but that, that's how it is, I think. It's, this is COVID era and that, that's it. So um, some of you might know me already. Um, my name is Jürgen Sjöberg, uh, a very Colombian name, uh, not really. Um, I was born in Sweden. I was born in Sweden uh, and I've been living here in Colombia for about 20 years now. And uh, I'm the founder of Instituto Nordico, a company I founded back in 2007. And we work with many countries in the world. Um, and we're very focused on higher education in particular in the Nordic countries and in Ireland, where we represent quite a few uh, universities uh, here in Colombia. And uh, if you would like to study at one of those universities, we are here to help. Uh, we don't charge anything for our services. The only thing we charge for are translations, and that's it. So pretty much, it's it's for free. Our, all our services are for free, and it's more like it's more about like to help you to with application to the university, uh, help you with a with application with a visa application. Of course, you need to do the uh, visa application yourself, 
but um, we will help with tell about what documents you need. Uh, and as I said, the only thing we charge for a translation, we've got an official translator in Colombia who will try, can translate your documents from, from Spanish to English. Um, so what you can see here behind me is an, an amazing photo of uh, Ireland. Uh, I think it's the most, one of the most iconic uh, places in Ireland. Uh, am I right, Lida? Yes, yes, Khalifa Mar. So it, 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 it's, it, it's Irish um, symbolic um, <laughs> scenery. <laughs> uh, everybody uh, from overseas coming to Ireland have to see, see Cliff of the Mar. Uh, it's, it's like there are a few movies made over there, um, and the, the 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 band the Best Life sang a song. They they, they shoot a video in in Cliff Mar, so uh, it is worldwide known now. Uh, it's uh, it's like to go to like to go to Paris and not uh, visit Eiffel Tower pretty much, and it's a very beautiful uh, area, and it's between. Um, I think it's an, Atlantic, it's an Atlantic coast highway, I think it's called. And it's been pretty much like between uh, Galway and Cork. Uh, yes. And it's about two hours from Dublin, an amazing place to visit. Uh, and as you can see, it's very green. And that's pretty much what is Ireland. For Ireland, for me, is a very, very green country. Uh, it might rain a little bit in Ireland, uh, but it still is an amazing got amazing sceneries uh, and the people are very, very friendly. Um, so a little bit more about us. Um, here in Colombia, we teach, uh, we've got a language course here in Colombia, so we teach uh, Norwegian and Swedish, uh, which are not that pop, uh, very popular, uh, very big, uh, big languages in the world, but we got quite a few students doing taking Swedish and Norwegian courses. And we also got English courses. Um, and if you'd like to prepare, for example, for IELTS or TOEFL, uh, we can, then we can help you out. Um, and well, we're also a test center for the Swedish exams. You can take an exam called Swedex with us, um, the international recognized exam. Um, and we work with, in total, with 27 countries. Uh, like if you like, you know, even if you like to study Chinese or even Mandarin, you can, you can do it with us uh, because we work with institutes in, uh, in China, so we would like to go and start in China and help you out. Uh, and as I said, we can help you with the visa application and also with accommodation um, uh, in the country where we would like to study. Um, most of the time, it's well, the, the institute or the university got their own accommodation. We can help you to find one, uh, so we can help you with that. And as I said, we also help can help you with. Uh, official translations from Spanish to, to English. Um, when it comes to studying in Ireland, um, one of the most important things is they, they have a good English level. If you haven't got a good English level, uh, can help you out. We got to work with language institutes in Ireland as well. Um, and um, when it comes to what are the requirements, well, IELTS 6.5 and up. Most of the programs, uh, for most programs, you need an IELTS 6.5, but for some programs, you might need a, a higher score. Uh, TOEFL 92. And at the moment, uh, you can also uh, do Duolingo. Uh, and you need 95 or Duolingo. And I think Duolingo is, might be a little bit cheaper than uh, TOEFL and, and IELTS. Uh, that's another option to do, uh, take Duolingo. Um, and so here's another one. Uh, come, sorry. Uh, here. Good. Um, so, well, what you need? Well, the last day to apply is in June. Is in June. Do you have? Do you know? Have you got the exact date, Lida, for to apply for the last day uh, to apply? Yeah, most of the courses are end of June. Uh, some of them uh, in the middle of June. Okay. Yeah. Still, I think like it's important to apply as soon as possible because of yes. the visa process might take. Uh, yeah, to get a visa might take some months. I may might take some time. So I think as yes, um, editor, uh, yeah. there there are some courses that are very popular, like um, uh, computer science, data analytics. The course normally is full in March, so oh. a few courses are really popular. They they are they they are full very very soon. 
So mm -hmm. once you have all the documents ready, apply as soon as possible. And as I said, we, we will help you with the application process uh, without any charge. Um, another, peop another thing my, a lot of people ask us is uh, doing a PhD in, uh, in Ireland. What is it like to do a PhD in Ireland, Ida? Uh, PhD normally it takes four years. Uh, it's cheaper than degree and master, and um, it's based on research. So basically, once you well, uh, we also accept um, a, a graduate uh, student uh, who graduate from degree uh, with um, high standard like uh, distinction uh, of other score. You can apply the PhD directly. Um, you just have um, you need to write a, a proposal and uh, for your research uh, title, then send it to direct to our um, graduate school, then we will find a, a supervisor for you. Um, you also can contact any schools, the professor and um, supervisor you prefer, and then we can, we can get contact with, with you for, for, for the supervisor. Once, once they accept you, your, your, your proposal, and they make an offer, so you can come to, to study, to do the research year, year round, anytime. Um, there's no certain time, um, certain time uh, to enter the, 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 the course. So you can, can come anytime. Very good. Uh, I got uh, a, a question came in. Uh, I think we're going to answer it a bit later, um, but it's about undergraduate in aerospace mechanical engineering but i think let's I think about it while we are having doing a webinar looking at this program but it's under yeah that's a little integrate in that area um well if you like to work in 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 ireland the, i think there are quite a few opportunities uh, at the moment might be a bit more tricky because of COVID. but normally it's not that difficult to find a job in ireland uh, in particular in data science among other areas so there are good, quite a few opportunities to, uh, to find a job. And well, uh, to know uh, the good English level, that's pretty much what you, you need to have a good English level. You would like to do a master program. Uh, so yeah, so it's quite a few options finding a job. Uh, when it comes to scholarships, I think you got some scholarships, but it depends on the area we would like what, uh, it depends on the area, doesn't it, Lida? Yes, uh, so for the moment, we, we don't have a scholarship from our university, uh, but the Irish government uh, offer a G, G, G -O -I scholarship, which is um, the tuition fee is free from the university and the education uh, enterprise Ireland gives you 10,000 euro a year for living cost. Um, I think that's closed soon. Um, but you can consider for next year, you know, and normally they give 60 spaces every year to all over the world. Uh, then uh, Education Ireland normally has education fair uh, with uh, BMI or, or um, FPP uh, in Latin America. Uh, normally they offer 60, 40 to 60 spaces uh, for 4,000 euro um, uh, West of payment uh, scholarship um, for the student who, uh, who, who apply to all the universities in Ireland. Um, so every university just donated two names to, to uh, Education Ireland and then they play the draw. So you just being, somebody just being lucky to play, win the draw, then you win 4,000 euro. Yeah. So this year already finished. We we just donated two names to them last Friday. That was for uh, the two education fair. One is BMI. One is Irish Education. Uh, their own fair. Um, but for next year, when once we have any um, any any information about this, I will send it to uh, uh, Jargon and send it to, to, to on, on your, put it on your social media and you just attend the fair and pick a, a university you, you would like to study. Um, and we can we can start from then. Uh, and then we've got another scholarship, it is called Futuro. Uh, here in Colombia, it's a very, very good uh, scholarship. Um, but it lasted to, uh, to apply for the 4th of March. 
so yeah, we'd like to tell uh, yeah, get to try to get to a scholarship uh, loan from Call Futuro. You need to apply for next year. Um, and if you'd like to contact us, we are on Instagram, we are also on Facebook, and uh, here's our telephone number, uh, the 301-517-6511. As I said, well, our service don't cost anything, the only thing is the translations. So now I'm going to leave you guys with uh, Lida, who's going to tell you about uh, the why going to to, uh, to, to Dublin, and also, um, we're going to speak a little bit about why, like about the Ireland, uh, Silicon Valley in Europe and all opportunities. Uh, so I'm going to leave you here with Lida, uh, who is the regional recruitment manager for Latin America at To Dublin in, uh, in Ireland. So uh, please, Lida. Uh, okay, let me see if I can share the screen. <laughs> okay, <yes>. yeah. <laughs> I can there see is. it now. Yeah. Um, first of all, thank, thank you everyone to coming today um, and to listen to have this event with us. Um, so now it's TU uh, Dublin, Technology University Dublin. Um, and how is TU Dublin involved in Ireland being Silicon Valley, Valley in Europe? So TU Dublin actually is a very new university. Um, <laughs> But we have a long history um, since 1887. Uh, it started only a small tech, technician school. Um, and then during 130 years, we built different camps, different, uh, different uh, institutes joined together. Uh, and in January 2019, we became the biggest biggest university in Ireland. Uh, the name is T Technology University. So there were three institutes merged together, DIT, ITT, and ITB. Uh, we are based in Dublin. And uh, here's the, our camps. In the middle one is uh, old DIT. Um, it's a new camps. Um, Jorgen has visited us. I brought him to there. So the building work still going on, construct still going on. Uh, in this September, there will be 10,000 students start this in the, this new camps. Uh, it's just in the Dublin city center. Uh, you can walk, it's a walk distance to everywhere. On the left hand side uh, is our uh, North camps. It is only take 25 minutes on the bus from city center. On the right hand side is the Talat camps. Um, it's, it's, it's around 30 minutes on the tram to the city center. So the middle, the city, city center camps is the biggest one. So you can see the map is all the DIT and then an ITB and ITT. And here, the courses are we are running in different camps. So in the center, in the city camps, we run the most of the course. So around twenty thousand students. Uh, in the north camps, around just three thousand, three or four thousand students, uh, and the southwest around five thousand students. So this is the new camps, and the new camps you can see a. Uh, uh, only on the left hand side, the top one is the new building and the rest uh, three pictures are all old buildings. Um, this area used to be a, a mental hospital in, in 100 years ago. So the buildings over 200 years have been protected by law. So we, we just decorate it inside. So it, it, everything is very modern. The new building and the new camps, uh, two biggest building um, is on the way at the moment. Uh, all the facilities and the um, equipment are the modernest in the world. Okay, so we are um, an old and a new university and, and fully uh, owned by Irish government. Uh, this is the difference between us and another seven university are Sami uh, owned by Irish government. And TU Dublin is fully owned Irish by, by Irish government. Um, and then we started to give a degree award from 1993. 
uh, at the moment, uh, to the number wise, we are the biggest university in Ireland, uh, three camps, uh, and also almost 30,000 students. Uh, the international students are still small numbers. It's around 200, uh, 2,500 2, euro. The, the number might be down for the last two years, um, but the, the students from all over the world, around 100 countries. So every country is our only small number. And we are the first tech university in Ireland. For the ranking wise, um, we list on the top uh, THE top 100 institutions under 50 years old uh, since we have the uh, degree. Um, and then current the whole um, uh, university ranking on the top uh, 4% on the QS. Then, but our engineer school are top 200 in the world. Uh, our architecture course is number one in Ireland. Uh, quality of teaching, um, all the computing science engineer courses are most popular in Ireland uh, because we are so close to the industry. We are leading the industry uh, teaching techni technique in Ireland. Um, Another good thing is because all our cars are very practical um, that's how we design the cars for the industry and we make sure the students, every student to get the quality courses and close to uh, the employers. So we only run small classes uh, between 20 to 40. Uh, we also make, make sure all the students almost get the, to, to, to work um, after you graduate. And the course is career focused on uh, industry involved in design, deliver of the courses. Uh, that means there are lots of uh, companies, um, IT companies, technician companies uh, are associated with TU Dublin. Uh, their staff training and course delivered actually by us, by, by TU Dublin. Uh, just show you how close we are with them. Um, and so many, um, all the um, IT companies have social issues with, with TUW. So we help them to produce staff as well. Um, all the projects for, for all the courses are from the real world. Uh, TUW values. Uh, so practical peaks learning, all the year, Year, four years degree students have half year um, half year work placement. Um, I will talk a bit more uh, later for the work placement. Um, progression between awards. So this is different between Colombian degree. So we have a different level of the, the course. For example, we have uh, level six, two years, level seven, three years. Uh, level eight degree, four years. Level eight degrees, four years equivalent to five years um, Columbia uh, degree. So the student can apply for, for low level, then if you reach a certain level after you graduate, the most of our EU students, they prefer only study for two years or three years going to, to start to work. But then before they graduate, they, they, start, they think, oh, I'm, I need to have my degree to do master later. So they can still continue study to do level eight degree, just continue the year. Uh, global study uh, abroad. So we have hundreds of Erasmus exchange programs with, with hundreds, hundreds of universities in, in other countries. So international students has the same uh, opportunities as well. You, you can just join the program to study for in other countries. The tuition fee is, is the same you pay to, to, to UW. Uh, all your researching is from real life issues, um, career focused on um, first programs, um, placement in the community, and also in overseas, you have international based internship as well. You can, you can do your internship or work placement in any other countries or in your home country. So this is the programs we have. We have a, a one year foundation program. So if you graduate from a high normal high school in Colombia, you, you need to do one year foundation with us. And then 
you go higher to do a degree. Uh, we also have a master, normally taught master program is one year and research is for two years and then PhD is four years. Uh, <clears throat> this is, we have four school at the moment and in, in the future are going to change it to faculties for, for area, uh, art of tourism, um, business, engineering, building environment, and health and science and health. So I just mentioned a few programs are very easy to get a job and you get the work permit in the future. And also there's um, um, a scheme called in, uh, in, in Ireland, the government, because we shortage of the, the highest standard workers every year. So the, the government launched this program called um, Critis, critical skill. So the critical skill uh, means those area uh, you can apply for the job. The job offer you the 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 salary reach to sixty thousand euro a year, and you you're easily to get a work permit. So our courses are almost all the courses are are close to critical skill. So for example. Um, and the the, uh, the computing engineer um, uh, building environment food industry all those is uh, close to in the the, the critical skill but for some courses that are, are not critical skill area uh, for example you have accounting um, design multimedia um, art um, business marketing um, Lots of engineer, those courses you graduate, and um, some some students actually got offer even during your study. Uh, when you when you find the job, the, the job offer you over three hundred twenty thousand euro a year. Okay, thirty two no thirty two thousand euro salary a year. You still can apply for the work the work permit. And the industry attitude, I mean, as I mentioned before, um, there are thousands of uh, companies, industry um, have collaborated with, with uh, TU Dublin. Uh, once you study a, a degree in, in TU Dublin, uh, on the year three, everybody has a half year work placement. So the, the companies, employers coming to the university to, to interview students offer your job. But if you don't get a job from the interview, then you always can find a job yourself. And we have a career office to help you or the student approach for the mean, mean university, we have one career office, but in each school you have your own office advisor, even in your course. They help you to put up the CV, uh, get in touch with the employers, and, and also help you um, to, to have interview skills. Um, this is built into your course. And our staff, 50% employed from the industry. Uh, that's, that's how we close to them. They, they have the at least 10 years experience uh, for a management um, position and also has the qualification to teach the students. Um, the industry involved in design delivery of the courses. Um, sometimes we hire the professor or the uh, industry people from different countries uh, flying over to have to teach, teach students as well. So for all of those industry, um, we also give the lessons. So some like Microsoft, where some lessons are produced in our TU, in, in, in our university as well. Uh, we, we, we also have students to become uh, entrepreneurs uh, to, to set up your own company. So we have so many uh, successful examples. Um, we have students to have a source funding um, to monitor your, your products to deliver to the market and help your company to start to, to deliver all, 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 all everything you need. So for example, we, we used to have um, 
well, you know, for, for the research products always popular uh, from TU Dublin and um, our research products can be delivered to the market uh, within one or two years, but other universities might be take another seven or eight, eight years. That's, that's why our graduates from PhD is so popular. Uh, so for example, we used to have um, a Korean students who studied the, the uh, culinary, uh, culinary art. He produced his own food, um, Korean healthy food. He set up the company uh, before he graduated. Um, he, he got his food delivered um, to the uh, one of the biggest uh, supply chain, no, one of the franchise um, supermarket called Su Super Value uh, in, in Ireland. So all his food are, are kind of branding now in this supermarket. He's, he's, he's very successful. He got, you know, work with a business visa state Ireland for good. So this is the only one food industry examples. It can be any industry, especially the, the technology, the high um, uh, medical devices, and so many um, successful um, examples. So one of our research students' uh, the products, he, he produced this uh, pen, painting can uh, stop the virus um, standing in the hospital. Uh, is 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 started to 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 produce in China and now is worldwide uh, being used. So the, this is only a few examples. <clears throat> uh, industry at TU Dublin, um, you yeah, mentioned six all degrees courses have six months um, work placement. Uh, most work work placement are paid. Uh, graduate salary expectation is between. 22K and, and 80K. So 22K is like business background. 80K could be uh, computing, uh, IT, um, bi biology, uh, those kind of area. Uh, and most of our course meet critical skills requirement. Uh, work study visa. So when you studying with us, um, any university in Ireland, uh, you can work part-time uh, 20 hours per week during your study uh, and full-time work 40 hours per week during your three months uh, summer holidays. So the salary in Ireland is much higher than other country in the Europe. So for example, the minimum wages, wages is over 10 euro per hour. So even you work part-time 20 hours a week, you, you earn around 700 euro a month. Uh, and, and, and 700 months, you don't need to pay the tax. So it is almost cover your living cost. And after you graduate uh, from a degree, you automatically get one year stay back visa to work full time looking for your proper job. And after you graduate a, a master degree, postgraduate degree, postgraduate course, you have a two years stay back visa. So most of the students doing a full-time job in two years can pay back your loan um, and, and lucky to get a job. Uh, some courses, like I said, you'll be offered a job during your studying. You might be able to get a work permit through those two years, just try your hard. You should be able to, to, to get a secure, a, a good job. Uh, admission requirement, um, it's, it's quite simple and easy. Um, so, you need to have an average 75%. Uh, some, a few courses are required over 80%. Um, and then the, the documents that we require, required, like before, of course, the passport, uh, grading skill. Grading skill is your GPA in Colombia, is uh, et, cetera, et cetera, out of 10, I think, in Colombia. And then your certificate, trend, uh, uh, transcripts all need to be original and translation in color scanned. Uh, then one of the English proficiency uh, exam like TOEFL, ELSE, um, Jorgen mentioned it before. So we accept a few. So at the moment, because the, the COVID, the Duolingo online is easier and quicker and it's the best option. Uh, then you need to have update of your, your, your CV and the statement of 
of purpose, why, why do you choose to study the course? So all the application is, is online, uh, is free for, for, for non-EU students. So our tuition fee is the second lowest in, in, in the Ireland. Uh, it's, it's from um, uh, 11,000 to 14,500 per year. Um, and we also offer international students to pay two installments, half and a half in two semesters. And <clears throat> some master, most master programs are one year, it's, it's between 13,500 euro or 14,500 euro. Uh, but one and a half years of you computing science uh, and arts program are one and a half years. So it's, it's 21,700. Uh, pre, uh, for the whole course, but it, it's a good investment because it's almost almost guarantee your job after you graduate. Um, the the camps life at QW <clears throat> because we are big, we have massive camps life, um, so it's very easy to to make a friend. Uh, uh, many university events from your own school, your own faculty, uh, from student union, from our international office, you can just find the information everywhere to join day tour, uh, you have a barbecue events, uh, any parties. Uh, it, then we, we also we have over 120 clubs and societies you can join in. So you won't be bored when, when you study in, in Dublin. Uh, and, and we have lots of support as well. Uh, we have a campus life office, a career de development center, um, postural care and competency service. Competency service is free, uh, especially the consulting service, if <coughs> confidential. If anybody has difficulty of your personal life, a mental problem, we have a consultant are free to, out, to, to, to book. So our new center of the clinic, um, and the consulting service is like a hospital in the new camps. And the health center um, is not free, but it's much cheaper than outside the clinic for students. Uh, we have society office, sport uh, re uh, recreation. You can join the sport, have different uh, races, uh, the, the, the matches with different universities as well. Uh, all the buildings are uh, disabled, <coughs> disability, uh, uh, accessible, um, and we have a special person to have disabled students as well. Uh, of course, you have student union who join to have your own voice or to protect your own right. Uh, in our international office, we have uh, one officer to help you. Um, you can reach if you have any problems. <clears throat> For accommodations, um, we don't have accommodation built on the camps at the moment um, because there are. 5,000 private accommodation built around our camps, only between three to 10 minutes walk. Um, so many of them, uh, we, have, we, 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 have, we have collaborated with them to provide accommodation for, for students. Uh, you may, you, for the COVID time, you, you, you need to book the accommodation before, before you come. Yeah, I think that's it. That's my, my contact details and, and my, my telephone, my mobile is my WhatsApp. Uh, you, can, you can reach me in any, any channel. <clears throat> so the, how we involved with all the leading area in, 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 in Ireland, because we, we work with thousands of companies, we design and programming for those IT companies. Um, I can say <clears throat> to Dublin, it is one of most popular universities um, for fees, for all the Fox, uh, career Fox on programs. Uh, we became the leading of in the, in the industry uh, in Ireland as well. So I, I hope the Columbia students number is very small. Uh, I only have one or two uh, students from Columbia a year. So I hope um, we will have more uh, more students from Columbia very soon. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anybody has uh, had some question for me? Yeah, I think there's some question coming up here, uh, Lida. Uh, it's uh, very 
specific question about the aerospace program. Um, so for all of you guys who are here today, it's quite amazing that the pretty much like the, the companies uh, will come to the university and uh, look for candidates for for the jobs. So it's quite interesting. You don't, yeah. Well, here in Colombia, it might be a bit different, but yes, because um, they need a lot of people, in particular uh, in the computer science, among other areas. The companies come to the company to the university and look for you. And as Lida said, like got paid internships, as a lot of opportunities, and you can stay two years uh, when you have finished your studies in in Ireland. And if a company after those two years would like uh, to have you uh, to stay longer, then it will help you the, with a the visa, with a work visa. So you can stay two years, which is which is quite good. So pretty, some people actually go to uh, when they yeah they, they start in Ireland and then they get to pretty much pay off a good part of the loan during the two years they can work in Ireland. It's a very, very good opportunity. As Selena said, I get between 20,000 euros and 80,000 euros a year. Uh, it's, it's quite a good salary, I would say. Uh, yeah, so a lot of opportunities in Ireland. Um, so I think we got more, some questions coming in here. Um, I think you're asking them. I think so much for the information. One question: Stay back visa for it's all. Yes, exactly. Two years. Uh, you get two years uh, stay back visa on the master program. Um, exactly. If the postgraduate is one year long, okay, yeah. So it's yet yeah, postgraduate. Most of the uh, master programs are uh, one year, uh, which is quite good as well. Um, Deadline, yeah. So deadline to apply for the September intake is in is depending on the program, doesn't like might be like mid June, but it's better to apply as soon as as soon yeah, apply as soon as possible. As Lida said, uh, some programs are very very popular. So if you got a thing that required now, if you meet a meet if you meet the English requirements uh, already, please apply as soon as possible because we're here and we are here to help you with the entire application process. Um, I think I'm not sure if you got more questions here, Lida. Uh, yeah, I've answered <clears throat> the, the, the stay back visa is always two years, it doesn't matter how long is your course, exactly. Yeah, so that was an amazing thing. Uh, to study abroad, it's very, very good, it's a good option, uh, to get experience. And furthermore, like you can work for two years, uh, and when you finish your studies in Ireland. Um, and then if you decide to return to Colombia or you decide to perhaps to go to another place, yep, no, I think it's, it's a good experience and it's always a, it's a good, to have a degree from university abroad helps a lot. That's my, yeah. my opinion. I, so, I guess it's most, um, for most people, um, are, it's the finance, it's, it's a lot of, it, it is a lot of money um, in Ireland, it's, it, it's much higher than, than most countries. The tuition fee <clears throat> but however then you think about this um uh you 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 can you can borrow the money from uh, borrow the loan from the bank or any other organization um but after you you graduate uh, or when you're working in ireland you can you can earn the money really really quick and to pay back your loan <clears throat> and you have your it's open a door for you to the, to to the whole world um and and it it is huge difference the salary between uh, Ireland and Colombia. It, it's really worth worth it to, to to take the risk, uh, to 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 make a better life. You know. Yeah, it's a good investment to to invest in studies. Is always good in my opinion. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities. I think we haven't got more questions uh, at the moment, uh, Lida. So. Um, we are here to help you uh, with the with application process. Oh, here comes some more questions. Okay, uh, is there apply process uh, for data? Yes, you can apply a few courses, um, up to three courses. Um, but then you need to read through the 
entry requirement. For example, if you do the data science, then you have the same background of computing, right? Uh, and 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 there are a few. We, we we have a few different computing courses or or different engineering courses. Um, yeah, you can you can apply up to three courses. Yeah. For data course might already be full. For yeah, I I think data and I might be full because for the last two years it's full in in March, but. Dragon can check for you. So Dragon, if you log in your agent portal, if this if you see the course still there, this means it's still opening. If you can't find the course, that means it's full, it's closed. Yeah, so to, if closed, you can you can apply different courses. Uh, yeah, we need to have a look at it. Uh, but no, it's as Lida said, like Ireland is pretty much like Silicon Valley in Europe. Uh, a lot of uh, technology companies that you got Microsoft, uh, which other companies are based in Ireland? You got with other ones, Microsoft and other ones, Lida? Uh, sorry, see you again. Yeah, uh, <laughs> technology companies, you got Microsoft, it's in Ireland. Is Intel in yes. Ireland? Okay, yeah. So all the, you know, all the um, IT computing um, Companies and uh, technology technology uh, uh, companies, the headquarters, European headquarters are all in Ireland, not in Germany, not in France, um, because um, Ireland uh, charge less the company corporation way, uh, uh, tax than any other countries. That's how Ireland became really popular for all those countries. Not not only for for those industry, right? For for medicine, medical medicine, um, food industry, uh, of course, you, you know, as you know, uh, Ireland's food security is number one in Ireland. It's very much better than than USA as well. And um, all those companies headquarters are in Ireland. So that means in many many um, area, in many many um, different fields, you you are much easier to find a job in Ireland than many other European countries. Yeah. And you're very, very good in the food industry. You're like almost like yes. pioneers in the food industry. We had a yes. webinar last week about that, but you see, seen they told us about they're like pretty much like yeah, one of the yeah, we got one of the top in the world when it comes to food industry, I think. I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah, one of the top, yeah, one of the most one of kind of the most expensive food industry. And as you told us about you're the ex alumni uh, that are now yeah got its own company producing food for the food in, for the supermarkets. Now it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so um, not sure if we've got more questions coming in. I think not. If you got any questions, please add them so now. Yeah. For next September, um, the application line opens in December. Uh, from this December, you can apply for next September. Hmm. And if you haven't got, if your English level is not uh, up on the, yeah, if it's not 6.5 or 6.5, we can help you out. Uh, yeah, some people have received some coffee and biscuits here in, in Bogota. We we'll, we have yes, Nice, nice. I, I even don't have here. Can you deliver to Ireland? <laughs> I love <laughs> Colombian coffee. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Colombia a few times. I really, really love the country and the people. Are so nice, friendly. Yeah. It's, it's like actually people when you study here it's so safe nice environment you can walk anywhere in at night no problem and and, and people are so friendly to help you around and that's that's when you set up a life in different country that's all you need you know uh, within a, a safe nice environment and, and you study hard and try to get a job and, and for your good future uh, yeah, there's so many opportunities in Ireland. So yeah, we sent out some coffee uh, to the people living in Bogota. Uh, so that's something we think are doing it uh, to other parts of Colombia as well. But we, yes, because we got some cinema rolls, uh, we felt that, well, it's better to send it out yes, to the people in, in Bogota. But we're looking at sending out to the other parts of Colombia as well. Uh, so great to hear that you are enjoying your coffee and your cinema rolls this morning. Uh, so, Lida, uh, it was great to have you here today. Um, this webinar is getting recorded, so if you'd like to watch it afterwards, uh, then, we, then you can watch it on our YouTube channel. Uh, and as I said beforehand, well, we, will, we can help you with the entire application process. We don't charge anything for it. 
we can pretty much help you with almost pretty much everything. Uh, so we're here to help and great to have you here today, Lida. Any last words, Lida? Yeah, um, nice uh, to, to chat with everybody. And thank you very much for everybody coming for this event and, and are going to organize this. Uh, I just hope everybody stay safe um, and hopefully see you uh, very soon in, in Dublin. <laughs> Great. So thanks a lot. So well for you. Uh, have a good rest of the day for a lot of for the people in Colombia. Well, have a good weekend. It's a long weekend here, so enjoy it. Uh, so hopefully, I hope we'll, we'll have some people who would like to apply to, to the blend and now after the webinar. So have a good, great, have a, have a good uh, weekend and hope to uh, speak to you all and uh, to you, Lida. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye.